Alice Gorman is a space archaeologist and an associate professor at Flinders University, and she joins us now with more on this. Um, Alice, how worried should we be and how big a deal is this rocket debris that's expected to crash to Earth this weekend? Well, the good news is that uh, statistically and historically, most debris does in fact completely burn up in the atmosphere and no one has ever died from a piece of space junk falling on them. Although on the negative side is a piece of a similar Long March rocket did in fact fall on some buildings in the African nation of Cote d'Ivoire uh, last year. But generally the, the surface area of Water and land is such that it is highly likely to fall in a place where it will cause no damage to any kind of life or property. And how can we predict uh, where exactly the rocket parts will fall back on Earth? Because it's an uncontrolled re-entry, there's no communication with the rocket nor any capacity to manoeuvre it. It is, in fact, quite hard to predict this. At the moment, the Places that are that it could land include large areas of Europe, North America and Asia. And, of course, remembering that, that there's far more water than there is land. We're not going to know a lot closer, until a lot closer to the time, how to narrow down those potential landing places. So people should keep an eye on the news uh, to see how those predictions narrow as it gets closer to Earth. Yeah, OK, we will be keeping an eye on that for sure. My colleagues were worried that it would be falling here in Istanbul. And uh, tell us more broadly, um, give us a sense of just how much space junk is out there. The current estimates are around 9,000 tonnes that are still in Earth orbit. This includes whole satellites, rocket bodies like the Long March and millions and millions of tiny little fragments as well. So there's a reasonable amount of stuff out there. Bits come in every day, but usually we don't even notice them. So no need to uh, uh, hide under our tables or wear hard hats this, uh, this weekend then, Alice. I think we'll be fairly safe, fingers crossed. Fantastic. Great to have you on the programme. Alice Gorman, uh, space archaeologist and associate professor from Flinders University.